All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are real time today. We got episode eight of One Day. Last episode was crazy. Um, Dex was at the peak of his career slash fame, if you want to say that. And it definitely brought a lot of bad stuff as well. They had a dinner, and uh, he just he just has an ego. Like he just, uh, I don't know. All he thinks about is like girls, and, and he just does his drugs still, and um i think he was he thought emma's life was boring and she wasn't maybe looked down on her because she's not following her original passions which is just i don't know it was it was definitely the hardest uh episode to watch as far as like him being an asshole maybe you can see like the, the one with his mother was hard to harder to watch in general but just the way he was acting was just super super in, like insufferable i think is a good word to say it um no one that has a brain would want to be on that that dinner date with him so uh, i feel really bad for emma but hopefully he turns it around soon uh we're definitely getting in the second half of the show now so he hopefully he can't be an ass forever um but i have faith that dex will turn it around yeah i mean i'm not too big of a dex fan right now after last episode um i wouldn't really care if <laughs> After that performance, I wouldn't care if they ended up together. I would rather hit she be with um, the comedian. But, yeah, like you said, I think Dex will have redemption. There's still a bunch of episodes left. And, I mean, he's really going to need a big redemption for me because that was just awful last episode. He needs to get off the alcohol, off the drugs. I mean, he just took so many bathroom breaks last episode and he was probably doing drugs i assume but yeah he is just not he's not the guy right now yeah it'll be interesting to see if like emma and dex are even like communicating at this point in this episode one year later um because of the way things left off like i wouldn't be surprised if they went through like a spell of not being friends um and not talking to each other and if that were to happen it's probably right now I also, like, regard, like, Dex aside, uh, I feel like Emma's not gonna be with Ian, either now or pretty soon, just because I felt like the writing was on the walls a little bit in the past couple episodes. You could just tell that, like, she was a little uncomfortable around him and, like, just annoyed, definitely annoyed, um, with just, like, him, it felt like. And I like Ian, I think he's a good guy, but I don't know if he's... The right guy for Emma anymore I think maybe before he was but I feel like she's growing as a person and uh, I don't know if they fit together anymore all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this episode if you guys have been enjoying the one day reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social media is in the address to our PO box but yeah let's get into it episode 8 of one day let's go Emma Morley Looks like she upgraded. I think her her last classroom looked small, smaller, right? Was that her classroom she was in? I just remember her being in the theater. I'm thinking of like when that dude was like weirdly flirting with her. Was that her classroom? No, that, was that like looked a like a teacher's office. Oh, okay. Lounge. What if she's with that dude now? The teacher? Yeah. That has a wife? There was that, they definitely had that scene there for a reason. It was weird. There were vibes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's the... What's it gonna be like here? Want to see me, Phil? Yes. Just... Um... Uh-oh. They're, they're, they're gonna fuck. Yeah, they're, they are a thing. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Is he having an affair, you think? Ah... Uh, probably, yeah. That's why she used that spray in her shirt. Oh yeah, he's having yeah. the hair. That's not very good. Yeah, kind of, I mean, not kind of, it is scumbag behavior. He like him. I don't. I like his beard though. He looks like he's not a teacher, like a principal. I, he might be, right? Or, I don't know. Does that look like not the somewhere a roomy teach in one couch? I mean, one minute it's the Duke of Edinburgh Award, and the next 
suddenly this filth. As you're bad as this. <laughs> so it's my fault. Yeah. You are so gorgeous. I'm not gorgeous, though, am I? I'm just young. Oh. I think after the long holidays, we should talk about your future here. Okay. Not head of year. She's about to get a promotion. Six weeks without this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, it's slimy. Yeah. <laughs> Just shave it off. I won't get this rash and I'll get to see your face. I can't shave it off. Why not? Dude. What are you trying to hide? It's because I've got too much testosterone. Testosterone? <laughs> got too much testosterone. What's wrong? Shit. That'll be Fiona. Uh. Where, where are my she can't see your legs, Phil. <laughs> Get <in> the voice. <laughs> She'll hear my pants off. Huh. Stuff right or pasta? <laughs> Stuff right, I think. Uh, oh, no, no, we've got prawns in the freezer. Emma's not b caring about their marriage either. Bit of a homewrecker. Uh, you too. This thing they got going isn't going to end well. So, how are you going to fill the time? Uh, I'll go up to Leeds for a bit, see my parents. You are so bloody lucky. No ties, no responsibility. I'm guessing they're going to summer. Is this the first time that we've not been on July 15th or whatever? Are we not? I mean, the summer just started, right? So it wouldn't be July. Literally climb every but didn't it do the thing at the beginning where it said, like, July 15th of the year? I didn't check the date, to be fair. I know it's 1995. But that, that would just defeat the whole purpose of the show, though. Regardless, summer doesn't start July 15th. No. At least not for most schools. But summer also doesn't last six weeks, though. He was cleaning his dick off. In the bathroom. It said on the mug this is a comprehensive school. Maybe different. Let me at least give you your birthday present. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, present, okay. There's comments at the back. I think she's kind of like getting over the over this right now. Clearly, I can't go six weeks without hearing your voice. Yeah, sure I mean, he's way more into it than I'm she is. I'm get you something for the big three zero. It's quite lavish. Is it a cell phone? <laughs> oh my god, really? Show yours. Top of the range. It's a good one. You can even send messages on it like a little typewriter. This must have cost a fortune. It did. But you are worth it. And I thought pay for the first two months and then you could take over the... <laughs> I think she's lost a bet with someone, that's all. Oh, what, the cell phone thing with Dexter? Thank you. Because he had a cell phone? Uh... You still living with Tilly? Oh, fuck. Again. I thought they lived... She was living with the... Her man's last episode. No, he he just would come over to her place, right? I think so. Whoa. Oh, they're both cheating. What? Or no, are they not together anymore? I thought you were saying like he's cheating too. You no. Meant, you meant the other guy. Yeah, I'm, I mean, the other dude and Emma are both cheating on their significant others. Uh, apparently, yeah. It was yeah. the end of term. Right, there were things to... Muffle. Why haven't you dumped him, Emma? I think, th I think she did. He doesn't live here. For my passport. I think they are broken up. Oh, yeah. The country. Hell yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I think you were with someone. Not this again. You smell of it. You smell of sex. For Christ's sake, give me back the key. How many bloody copies do you have? <laughs> How many keys does he have? What? Okay, I'm just going to change the box. That is someone else. That's the only explanation why she'd want to break up with you. Why can't you just accept that we were right for each other? Oh, right for no. each other. Okay, okay, yeah. Good point, Ian. Yeah, see, I, I thought we weren't right for each other, but but if you think no, we are... No, it's not just me. It's your mum, too. I, sp I spoke to her. That's so weird. It's really weird. <laughs> she yeah. called me. Oh, this fucking freezer. Look at this crap. It's children's food. Oh. <laughs> you can tell me. You've got no obligations. Just tell me. Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't say who you're at. Mr. Goddard name. Uh, oh. Uh, the headmaster. 
You didn't need to say who it was. You could have just said it was a man. You're right. Yeah, we've been having an affair for the last six months. Just about the sex, really. Tables and school chairs and anything mm. that stacks. He wanted yeah, to hear it. Fuck. I mean, he it's might not be not the not kind not of person not. to tell the school. Yeah. Don't take the piss. Oh, what? Do you not believe? It's not funny, It is a little Emma. bit. Yeah, it's not actually true, anyway. <laughs> because I know the truth. Oh, okay. It's Dexter. Oh. I've got evidence. Of what? I'm so interested. I've got evidence. Bro, what the fuck did he do? Well, you just went through my private things. Well, I didn't need to. It's so bloody obvious the two of you just waiting to get me out of the way. What are you talking about? Dexter. Oh, for God's sake. Always him. We haven't seen each other in a year. Hmm. Of the fact that he's got a girlfriend. No, not anymore. I saw her in the paper. He and Suki, they've broken up. Dude's obsessed. Oh, oh, to rest my face in the hollow of your back. You read my notebooks. You've gone through my things and you've... This is so fucked. Yeah, he's weird. And then writing these sappy love poems. Was from years ago. I never wanted to rest your face in the hollow of my back. Your back doesn't have a fucking hollow. <laughs> and I expected you to have some dignity and self-respect. God knows why all you do is whine and moan and moan. If you ever... Turn up here again, I swear I will call the police. Oh, yeah, well, go on then! You never paid the mortgage. You never did anything. You just sat around all day frying and baking, watching videos, feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> it was never enough! Get, the, get him out of here, please. I chipped in! I bought the crispy pancakes. I just got stuck. We both did. Why are you, why are you saying these things? Surely you can see that. No! No, I loved you. He is just down the deep end right now. I still love you. This is not going anywhere. This needs to just end. I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do, what do, what do, what do I do? <laughs> this definitely has to be his first breakup. <laughs> Damn, bro. Feel bad for him a bit, but uh, get him out of here. I feel like I just watched Marriage Story. I was despicable to go through your stuff. It's pretty, pretty awful. I should never have asked you to marry me. <laughs> was it that? Was it the yeah. ring? I shouldn't have done it in the flat. I should have. <laughs> what? No, it wasn't extra either. But while we were together, nothing happened. What did you want it to? Why does he want to know all this shit? The thing I feel most sad about is all these photos. You have hundreds with Dexter, and you have hardly any with me. <laughs> I mean, they go places. Let's drop it. No, it's just you're funnier than me, and that's it's meant to be my career. I don't like him anymore. You should do something. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Not after all that shit he just pulled. It was fucked up, but she was having an affair. She didn't cheat on him, though. Yeah. She said she didn't do that while they were together. No, I think she's talking with Dex. I mean, how long have they been broken up? She said she's been having an affair for six months. Yeah. Surely his pancakes wouldn't still be in there. <laughs> I should go. They never come back. Nice knowing you, Ian. Oh. <laughs> My legs don't work properly. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you so much. You think it'll stop? I'm sure that it will. But I can't help. Well, you... Could you change your mind? <laughs> I still think you're the bollocks. Emma Morley. No, no, you are. <laughs> All right, Ian. You did your thing, brother. Oh, God, are you okay? A bit of physical comedy there. Of course, very good. Gotta go out like that, okay. He hasn't, she hasn't seen Dex in a year. 
You haven't Good. seen him in an episode. Good. He was a fucking clown last time we I saw know. him. If I ever get She's gonna use the phone to call Dax. I give you six months before you cave. Dexter. Where's the D page? I hope you and Graham are well. I'll just come and see you soon. While I'm free of the school shackles. Let's see. Damn, what's going on? She's looks like she's in her loner era. Miss Morley. That's one of the kids in her. That's the girl from her play. Oh, hundred percent. Is that you? The girl she helped out of the bathroom. Yeah. Hello, Richards, hello. She always smokes cigs. No. Some boys gave me this told to run away. Uh, you're at college. English to Edinburgh. Oh, they'd be lucky to have you. What if I do? It'd be because of you. Damn. That's got to feel good. Uh, I, I better, well, it's, uh, it's lovely to see you. <laughs> I'm going to go home and get really drunk. She just doesn't have anything to do. It's not like she's like a alcoholic. No, I know. No, I was telling that girl. Oh. Does she hear the bottles clanking? I don't know if she got your message or not. <laughs> I guess Tilly's with Graham. I definitely think she's lonely now, yeah. though. Yeah. Like she's just wants companionship, I think. You're gonna get drunk and call Dex. Dexter. I'm drunk calling you. <laughs> He'd be like, sorry, Emma. I've got a new TV show to work on. Are you doing any TV shows? No? You're worthless then. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah. Nice song, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One of the goat songs. One of the Ted Lasso's. Most nope. Which one? Dairy on Girls. Wasn't it on Ted Lasso? Yeah, it was on Ted Lasso. This song's been on our channel like four times now. This this song was on the Sam episode with his uh, restaurant. Uh, I have it rooted in my head from Dairy Girls. The very end. Mm hmm. She's gonna start writing again. And now I've felt like this before. And now I'm looking at it even more. She's gonna cook something up, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, she knows where to type. I think she's got a freaking mechanical. I don't think she hit that damn space bar once yet. <laughs> she just typed long, one word. Long word. <laughs> wow. No Leo would all that episode, so. Good, got what we wanted. Yeah, I mean, no Leo would all that episode. That is his name. No Dexter. That was a good episode, though. That uh, beginning didn't catch me by surprise. I mean, we all knew that was going to happen. The principal and Emma probably going to have an affair. They did. A um, little home wreckage from her and a little bit of slime from him. <laughs> that is not good stuff. Nickelodeon over here. Yeah, that is not good stuff from the two of them. She just went, or he went into the bathroom, wiped his wee wee off with the soap in the water, and gave her a phone. She's got a phone, and I think it's just a matter of time before she uh, dials Dex here soon, so... Let's see if she does. Yeah, I think they'll probably start next episode with like, I mean, there's no way she goes a year now without getting in contact with him. He's recently single. She's recently single. Uh, I mean, he was obviously an ass, but I think a year is a, a good amount of time to like ignore him for until, uh, and like the whole idea of like uh, their conversation, if I get a mobile phone, I'll treat you to dinner. So like she kind of owes him dinner now, apparently. Um, so hopefully next time we see him, he's humbled. He realizes that he, he almost lost her for good and maybe get a little bit of romance going. I don't know. I Ooh. feel like this is the most, uh, probable time that we've had recently because they're both single and hopefully more grown and mature now. You never know with this show, but I, I, I do have faith that next time we see him, it'll be in good spirits and good relationship uh i have a, a strong feeling that in the next episode emma's going to be like working on a on a play or something like i feel like whatever she's writing now a year from now he's actually going to be working on like it just it kind of felt like uh like this is the one or something like she she kind of was on to something and uh 
Uh, I, I could just see that being in her future. Potentially, what maybe she doesn't even go back to school after summer if, if like whatever she's writing actually works and is a hit. Uh, and I could see that like her being successful in in her like original passion. I could see how that could lead Dexter back and being like, I told you, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Something like that. I don't know, but they definitely have to relink up here soon. And yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense for for there to be potential romance now because like they're both single as of this episode. But I, I just don't know. I don't know how it how it works or how it happens because it just it just feels like they they are not gonna be together in this show it's just how it feels all right guys that's pretty much it though for this episode if you guys have been enjoying the one day reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social media is the address to our p.o box but yeah we'll catch you guys next time for episode nine of one day peace out